hi welcome to my channel have you ever struggled with the retail lecture task in PTE or you find the summarized spoken text difficult in this video I'm going to show you how to ace the retail lecture and summarize spoken text with just a single template you can see my scores overall 90 and 90 in several sections and today I'm going to give you the exact the very template I used to get that score. These are several testimonials and I, I must give a shout out to those who send in their compliments and testimonials so far. Do you want to get that score? Do you want to score 69 or 79 as the case may be in PTE? Then you're in the right video. Let me say that the retail lecture and summarized spoken text section are quite easy because you can actually ace both using a single template. And I'm going to show you that template in the shortest possible time. But you have to first note that the most important thing in this section, section is um, fluency and content. Your fluency and content are key. So you must ensure that you have no restarts or no pauses. You must ensure that you memorize this template so that you can, so that your fluency can be top notch. Now, I would also like to tell you to get your erasable notepad and marker ready, the one you are provided with in the English exam, because you would have to write out what has been said an audio or video will be played played to you and you will have to jot down keywords or key phrases but please ensure that your marker works and cap them when not in use to prevent them from drying because trust me the worst thing that can happen is trying to write and your marker has dried up also i would like you to not forget to listen carefully when the video or audio play is out. Listen carefully and write out key phrases or keywords. But I prefer key phrases because in a key phrase, you can get multiple keywords. So write them out quickly, but please write them in such a way that you would be able to read your own handwriting in the 40 seconds you are expected to speak. So the simple template is this. It's a simple structure. You first begin with the speaker was discussing, you state the topic. First and foremost, he or she mentioned, you state your key phrase one and key phrase two. Furthermore, he or she pointed out key phrase three. And in addition, he or she discussed key phrase four and key phrase five. Finally, he described key phrase six Overall, he or she concluded by saying key phrase seven. Ensure that you flow. Ensure that you don't restart your sentences. Even if you make a mistake, just continue because your fluency is key. Now, this is the way I wrote mine in the exam. I'd drawn out six lines and written the template as a heading. The speaker was discussing. Firstly, he mentioned. Furthermore, he pointed out. In addition, he discussed. Finally, he suggested. Then overall, he concluded by stating. So once I listen, as I listen, I write on my notepad various keywords and key phrases. This is an example. Let's say the speaker was discussing climate changes. First and foremost, he mentioned me, that millions of people are facing hunger in Africa. And furthermore, he pointed out that this is due to financial issues. In addition, he stated that this has a devastating effect on world economy. You can see I'm not only picking keywords, I'm picking key phrases in order to get more keywords in because content is also important here. He finally, he suggested the effect of climate change will continue to persist and he concluded by stating various ways to decrease these changes so just this is just an example you can see with these lines i have drawn even if i get more than one of which you you probably get more than one at least one or two or even three you can use the same lines you have drawn 
to state the first one, the second one, and then you have to speak for about 40 minutes. But I would advise that after you have written, you have about 10 seconds to prepare. You can quickly go through this in your head, although 10 seconds is very short. Time. So utilize this preparation time. During the summarized spoken text, you can write directly on the keyboard. On your, you can write on your computer directly instead of the erasable notepad, just to save time. Now, the recording will cut off if you pause for more than 3 seconds. So you have to keep speaking. Like I said, even if you make a mistake, don't correct yourself. Don't restart. Don't pause. Just keep speaking. Then click next once you are done and prepare for the next question. So subscribe as usual. Tell me the next template you need and I would make a short video to cover that. The extra tip I have for you is that the mic should not cut you off so because you're giving 40 seconds does not mean you speak for 40 seconds i advise that you always keep it short at 35 seconds and then once you're done instead of waiting just click next so speak for 35 seconds click next that's the way to do it i'll see you in my next video thank you